You guys know me, I'm all for working smarter, not harder. We live in a world now full of AI tools and websites that can literally think with you. So if you're not using them, you're falling behind, contrary to what your teachers might be saying at school. I'm not talking about those boring like download this planner type of apps, I'm talking about secret AI websites that I actually use every day. My go-to chat GPT prompts and apps that literally run my life, tracking my weaknesses, planning my study sessions and even helping me focus on my brains all over the place. And so today I'll be showing you five five apps and websites that make studying feel almost too easy, it makes it feel like cheating, but in the best way possible. These are tools I actually use to slash my study time in half, lock in for hours without burning up, and actually enjoy studying. Because becoming a top student isn't about grinding harder, it's about thinking and working smarter. And so once you start using these straight away, it's like unlocking a second bridge that does half of the studying for you. By the end of this video, you'll have five new tools that will make you wonder why didn't I use this sooner. Alright, and starting with the first tool, and honestly, if you want to become a top student, especially in maths, this one matters a lot. And that's going to be the sponsors of this video, brilliant, but they're a tool that I've been using before, and it genuinely changed how I understand maths. Here's the thing that most students don't realise, you're not bad at maths, you just never properly understood it. Take something like quadratics, most people are taught to memorise the formula, follow steps, and hope it works in an exam, without ever really knowing why. But what brilliant does differently, is that it forces you to think. Instead of watching someone explain quadratics at you, you're the actual one solving visual interactive problems, moving graphs, testing them, and seeing how changing one value actually affects the equation. You don't move on until it clicks and you understand it. And that's where real confidence comes from. And I really like how personalized it is. Brilliant starts you at the right level, adapts based on what you struggle with, and gives you practice and review that actually targets your weak spots, not what a generic class assumes you need. So if quadratics have ever felt confusing or intimidating, this is how you turn them into something you actually understand, not just something you survive in exams. And especially going into the new year, if your goal is to stop guessing and start mastering maths, this is the kind of concept that compounds really quickly. So if you want to try it, go to brilliant.org for jspark scan the qr code on screen or click the link in the description you can get started for free and brilliant's also giving 20 percent off an annual premium subscription which gives you unlimited access to everything all right that's tool number one let's move on to the next one i know you've heard of this one chat gpt and before you roll your eyes and be like bro chat gpt that's old news bro i've been using that since day one just chill out because most students i see actually use it in the wrong way like obviously chat gpt is not meant to do your homework or any of your schoolwork for you it's meant to be your teacher the way i use it is to simulate active Equal and spaced repetition. The same principles behind why flashcards work, but way more flexible. So for example, here's how. Let's say I just learned about photosynthesis. We'll use that as a key example. Instead of asking it to explain photosynthesis, I'll say, quiz me on photosynthesis with five progressively harder questions. After each one, explain the correct answer only if I get it wrong. This is one of my favorite prompts and you can use it for so many subjects and it's so, so good as you can see, because that one line forces your brain to retrieve information, which is exactly how your memory is built. You're not passively rereading your notes. You're doing active recall, but in a conversation form. Once you're done with that, you can use spaced repetitions with prompts like these. I studied X topic three days ago. Give me a quick review quiz that focuses on what I'm most likely to forget. It tracks time-based forgetting, just like Anki or other flashcard systems, but conversationally. You can also tell it to act like a teacher, which I use all the time. Act as a strict examiner. Ask me 10 conceptual questions about topic, but don't move on until I answer each one correctly. Or my personal favorite one, pretend I'm a 12 year old and explain complex topic using analogies until I can explain it back to you. And that's basically the framework technique teaching to learn. The point is ChatGPT isn't just a chatbot, it's a custom teacher or vision partner and it's only as good as the prompts that you give it, right? So use it this way and it's going to be a space repetition engine all in one. Treat it as your cognitive gym, you're literally strengthening your memory every time you chat. Alright, next up, let's talk about past papers, because honestly, if you're not doing past papers, you're literally studying blind. My two go-to websites for this are PMT and Save My Exams. They're perfect for practicing real exam questions, learning what examiners actually want, and spotting those patterns that always come up again that you should be always on top of. Here's what I usually do. I grab a few papers from PMT, set a 25-minute timer, then go full exam mode, no notes and no distraction. Then I mark using the official mark scheme, highlight where I lost marks, and then log those weak spots in Notion or Google Sheet, which I'll get onto later, actually, my mistakes note. And that's all perfectly good, but if you want to take that to the next level and make it way more interactive, you guys have to check out Medley AI. It's like doing past papers but on an entirely new level. When you answer a question, Medley instantly tells you how many marks you get, why and what to fix. It's like having a teacher give you feedback in real time. And the best part is, if you use a tablet or Chromebook, you can actually write your answers by hand. And Medley's handwriting recognition will read it, mark it, and you're practicing in the exact way, writing with your hand 
in an exam, which is an invaluable skill. You get to keep that authentic pen and paper fuel and instantly get feedback and make sure you're answering it to the best of your ability. It's the next level interactive version that teaches you as you practice and it honestly makes revision really gamified and addictive. The fourth one, let's talk about flashcards and not those crusty ones that are sitting in your drawer that you looked at once. Because if you're still using physical flashcards, I hate to say it, you're still studying like it's 2005. Here's the real problem. Paper flashcards don't know you. You either end up over reviewing what you already know or forgetting what you actually need to revise. Because how do you do it? You normally just like go through them all at once again and again and again. But if some of them are really easy, but some of them are really hard, you should be weighting them differently. But paper flashcards just don't do that. And here's where Anki comes in and destroys the competition. See, Anki is built around this one really powerful technique and principle that I always talk about, right? Space repetition. So instead of reviewing everything all the time, it shows you the right card at the right moment just before your brain would have forgotten it. That moment is where learning actually sticks. Harman Ebbinghaus discovered this 100 years ago and it's called the forgetting curve. You forget 70% of what you learn within a day unless you revisit it strategically. Space repetition basically hacks that curve and Anki automates the whole thing. No planning, no guessing. Just open your desk every day and watch your memory snowball. Psychologist Anders Ericsson also said that the best learners don't just repeat, they repeat with feedback and timing what Anki does. Every time you press easy, hard or again, you're training your brain with perfect timing feedback and it works for any subjects. You can do questions, equations, history dates, essay structures, vocab, even diagrams. I use it for everything and my personal favourite feature as you can see is the image occlusion where you can hide certain parts of images and diagrams and it's really useful for graphs and economics or biology diagrams. Forget all flashcards and remember you guys know how much I glaze flashcards. Do them on Anki, do them 10 minutes every day and you're literally rewiring your long term memory. And next up, the app that quite literally runs my life, Notion. Now I know everyone says that, but hear me out. Most, most people just use Notion as a pretty to-do list. And yeah, the aesthetics are cool, it's very customizable. But if you use it right, Notion is like your digital command center as a student. Here's how I use it. As you can see, this is my to-do hub. It has all of my notes organized, which is also a key point, because I can always look back to them. But I also have just this daily to-do page. Each morning I open this one page. I keep all my task deadlines and study blocks I have. I tag things by subjects and priority. And instead of panicking on what I have to do next, it's all laid out in order. It, re it removes decision fatigue, which by the way is one of the biggest productivity killers for students. Second, I use it as my knowledge fault. Whenever I learn something new, especially from a lecture, a YouTube video, even random Reddit post that explains a concept perfectly, I add it to this database called Keynotes. It's searchable. I can literally do a control F and find exactly where I have it. Categorized by subjects, and it's literally like a digital notebook. But my real secret weapon that I use Notion for is a mistakes note. After every test or pa past paper, I lock every single question that I got wrong, as you can see. And I like keep a mark of what I got wrong so I could go back and find it if I wanted to and why I got it wrong. So that next time when I try again, I can kind of read it as a little hint and make sure I get it right. The cool part is I start to notice patterns and like, as you can see, it's very like, it's like a, how do you, how do you say it? It's like, it's all in one place. You can straight away look at it and see like the red parts on the screen. Like it's very easy to see where your mistakes are and when you're losing marks. You can see the patterns and it's a feedback loop that turns your mistakes into a strength. Basically lets you think like a top student without having to be one yet. It's where my plans, progress and knowledge all live together, kind of like my second brain. So yeah, you use it for your notes, to-do lists or whatever. But when you use it to track your tasks, set your best notes and record your mistakes, you're not getting organized. It's genuinely like the student hub that is going to transform you into a top student. So yeah, those are just five tools that help me stop studying like a zombie and actually getting it done in a fun way, but also just studying smart. Because at the end of the day, Success in school isn't about who studies the longest at all. It's about who studies intelligently. And here's the truth. You can have every productivity app, every AI tool, and even every fancy Notion template. But if you don't use them strategically, they're just all distractions as well. And that's why I created the student accelerator. So I take everything I talk about here and actually coach you through it. I help you build your own system that helps you kill procrastination, master active recall, space repetition, and deep work. And you get to join a private community of all ambitious students who are all having the same goal as you. If you're serious about becoming a top student, you want my help. We calls all of these premium resources not just watching videos and actually transforming how you study then join us the doors are open right now links below and if this video helped you that is going to help you tenfold and anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if this video gave you at least one idea you're going to try make sure to drop a comment your favorite tool and share this with someone else remember it's not about studying harder it's about working smarter now you've got five new ways to do it let me know if you guys want part two i love you guys thank you for watching comment 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 hype 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 like 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 uh yep uh, see you guys next time do you guys want to see a pumpkin pumpkin